I would like to first uh, invite uh, Dr. Yoshimura to give a first lecture on this uh, HFEM or hydrogenated fatty acid metilester. Go. ขออนุญาตเปลี่ยนแปลงกำหนดการนิดนึงนะครับเพราะว่าแทนที่จะฟังผมพูดอาจจะไม่ค่อยน่าสนใจเท่าไหร่เดี๋ยวจะเชิญทางอาจารย์ผู้เชี่ยวชาญทางด้านญี่ปุ่น yes please มานำเสนอในส่วนของตัวตัวกระบวนการผลิตนะฮะแล้วก็อัปเกรดดิ้งของคอนเวนชั่นอลเฟรมเพราะเราทราบอยู่แล้วว่าบริษัทในปัจจุบันเนี่ยก็จะใช้ในได้ไม่เกิน 5% เนะแต่ในโครงการนี้เราจะพยายามนำเสนอในส่วนที่เป็นเขาเรียกว่าไฮคุณภาพขึ้นมาเพิ่มมากขึ้นนะเดี๋ยวจะไฮแค่ไหนก็เดี๋ยวเราฟังจากทางนิวยาก่อนนะครับก็ first may I introduce Dr. Yoshimura he is a leading senior prime researcher from research center of new fuel for vehicle and under national institute of advanced nuclear science and TNT or AST from Japan ก็ please go ahead thank you thank you very much thank you very much Wirasak-san, Srirak-san and Nuong-san for inviting me and to give me a chance to, be, uh, to make a presentation here. Uh, today, uh, I'd like to talk about the upgrading of the conventional frame into H frame, hydrogenated frame. But uh, before starting of these topics, I'd like to briefly introduce our activity of JST JICA, uh, just a Thai Japan collaboration project. Now, uh, biofuels are uh, commercialized from several uh, reasons. Oh, sorry. Uh, energy security, uh, growth of agriculture, forest industry, CO2 reduction, and national policy, and so on. But the most of the biofuels are produced under the food supply chains. But recently, a uh, lot of the conflict with uh, food supply to, uh, with uh, biofuel production. So uh, we are required to gradually move to uh, non-food biomass feedstock for biofuel production. But uh, this non-food biomass, we have a lot of issues because uh, limited production and no supply chain need to develop the new modified biomass conversion technology, limited quality uh, assurance meet with standard, uh, limited information on its big use and so on. Then uh, in Thai Japan uh, collaboration project, we are focusing on this part to, to measure these topics. Our project uh, started from 2010 and the five years project. And uh, this uh, JST uh, JICA is a partner of our uh, sponsor of our project. And uh, in Thai side, Nasdaq Tech, Tista, King Monk, uh, University of North Bangkok, uh, University of Technology of North Bangkok. And the main topics of this project is R&D of Jatrofa to transportation fuels. We have two kinds of the fuels uh, dealing with in this project. One is a uh, uh, frame, uh, Jatrofa oil com converted to hydrogenated frame. Today, my topics is this part. But uh, we are focusing on another fuels. It's a uh, jatrofa residue to hydrocarbon fuels. In this uh, uh, process, we pyrolyze uh, jatrofa residue at first, and this bio oil will be converted by hydrotreating uh, technology. Then we can get hydrocarbon, mainly gasoline, aromatic gasoline. And uh, this product will be uh, checked by automobile or some engine bench to check the compatibility to automobile fuels. But today is uh, just I'm focusing on this, only this part. Uh, content of my topics is uh, mainly five parts. Uh, at first, I will introduce the uh, importance of the fame oxidation stability. And uh, second, uh, I'll explain how to improve the frame fuel quality. And third, 
how to produce a partially hydrogenated flame. We, we call the H flame. It's a chemically upgraded flame, not the antioxidant additive one. And uh, we'll check, uh, mentioned about the material compatibilities and engine performances of H fame. And the last part I'll mention about the feasibility study of H fame. Uh, these uh, fame are widely used uh, as a diesel alternative, but uh, still we have some worry on the impurity and its oxidation stability and the high uh, concentration use of fame if the quality assurance of fame is not so properly done. Because uh, fame is uh, quite different from petroleum fraction because uh, fame contains a lot of the polyunsaturated compound. Uh, this one is uh, potentially easier to be oxidized because uh, this uh, methylene bond between two double bond is very easy to make uh, radicals and to form this uh, peroxide or uh, peroxy radical and so on. And uh, finally, this uh, oxidized product uh, produces uh, some organic acid and uh, sludge. And uh, this organic acid sludge has a harmful effect on the engine and the supply chain, for example, uh, some deposit and the injector part. And if we use a common rail engine, this deposit is getting very significant. And another issue is if acid form, it's a corrode this tank, then oxidation stability is a very important issue for the fame quality assurance. Uh, most of the fame uh, made of some uh, this uh, fatty acid component, it's uh, this one. But uh, these compounds differ in oxidation uh, stability. Uh, this data shows the Lancimat data. And uh, before starting this one, I explained the Lancimat data here, just uh, sample here air bubbling and some uh, check the oxidation behavior here. Just monitoring this uh, conductivity here, this change. And this uh, intersection, this part is good index of the oxidation uh, stability. Uh, the higher this uh, value, the better in oxidation stability. Recently, uh, we are using petrol KC but uh, today's my presentation is uh, just focusing on the RANSMAT data. Then uh, this uh, compound containing uh, three double bond, it's very easy to oxidize. Double bond two, uh, still easier to be oxidized. But uh, this monoen is uh, quite stable, getting stable, not so quite stable, getting stable. But uh, this uh, compound, the saturated one, is very stable. Then uh, this order uh, shows the order of oxidation uh, tendency is here, like this. This polyunsaturated one is very easy to be oxidized. Another report mentioned here, same tendency, but uh, this uh, double bond 2 one it's uh, maybe tens. This one is 100. Then, uh, if the increasing of the double bond, it's e show easy to be oxidized. Uh, because uh, this, this shows some uh, oxidation mechanism of fame. It uh, basically follows the uh, auto-oxidation mechanism of the normal uh, trigger slide. Once fame forms some uh, radicals, it's accelerated, oxidized by oxygen, yeah, and compared to radical and peroxide and so on. Finally, this oxide product is uh, polymers, acid uh, formed. As already mentioned, uh, this methylene bond is very easy to form radicals and very easy to be oxidized later. Then we have two ways to stop, not stop, suppress the oxidation. One is add antioxidant. This one is a good to trap the radicals. Another a good way is uh, to decrease the number of this methylene bond. It means that we should change some chemical structure by hydrogenation. 
Then uh, this shows our uh, idea of uh, some partial hydrogenation. This one is a uh, present frame here. And to increase the oxidation stability, we add antioxidant like a BHT, like this. Your Thai standard is a 10 here. But uh, still uh, some uh, worry on the high concentration use of present frame. And around here, it's a little bit difficulty. But another way is a uh, triglyceride converted to uh, BHD, you know the BHD here. Here is a uh, hydrocarbon fuels. It's a uh, completely no methylene bond. It's a hydrocarbon. But uh, this one is can be managed in only refinery. This one is a conventional frame producer. If we, Thai government moved to BH, uh, BHD, this uh, frame producer should be withdrawn from the market. Then uh, we are thinking about the, just the bridging technology between fame and this one around here. Oxidation stability is not so good compared to BHD, but uh, good, but uh, possible to in increase the blending ratio around to up to 20 or 30. Then uh, our idea is uh, this fame, conventional fame upgrade here, here. The idea is uh, minimizing of the methylene bond. It should potentially increase the uh, fame after the hydrogenation here. And uh, this blending uh, ratio, we can increase up to 20 or uh, not 30, but around high concentration will be possible. And uh, this shows some um, idea of the partial hydrogenation. As I already mentioned, this uh, polyunsaturated one, uh, easy to be oxidized, then oxidation stability increasing here uh, with decreasing uh, unsaturated bond, oxidation stability increase. But uh, on the contrary, this uh, cold flow property decreasing here. We, we have this trading relationship then uh, we should compromise. If we can produce this uh, mono N, mono unsaturated one compound here, oxidation stability is not so bad, but uh, cold flow pro property also not so bad. Then just we are focusing on this one as H-fame. So uh, H-fame is a partially hydrogenated fame, which contains a maximal amount of the mono saturated, uh, unsaturated fame, after decreasing the amount of the polyunsaturated fame with a minimal increase in the saturated fame. Then just uh, poly converted to around here. Of course, uh, it is quite difficult to clearly cut. Only uh, this uh, produce, uh, only this one is uh, quite difficult. Then maybe uh, after hydrogenation, some amount of the polyunsaturated fame will remain, but uh, we should uh, optimize how much percent of the poly unsaturated fame can be remain after hydrogenation. Then uh, this show uh, uh, how to produce H fame. This one is a conventional fame uh, after adding antioxidant. This one is commercially used. But uh, uh, this, our H fame, this partial hydrogenation facility are necessary as an incidental facility here. But uh, this facility can still survive here. But uh, another one is a BHD. It's uh, here quite a new. This uh, processing way is a petroleum refining technology. But uh, we need a high pressure and high temperature uh, conditions. We need a new facility. Uh, this table shows a, a comparison of between the H fame and the BHD or HVO. We're sorry to, to small in, uh, letter. But uh, here is uh, just a reaction. These are fame, it's converted to mono. Okay. But uh, these three degrees are converted to hydrocarbon. This uh, cold flow pro property is very poor. 
then we should isomerize after the, this hydro deoxygenation reaction. And the important thing is here, the hydrogen consumption. It's a, a hydrogen consumption is very low compared to this one. Then running cost is very low here. And the facility, it's uh, here. It's uh, very low, mild condition here. But we need a very high uh, severity conditions, like a petroleum refining here. And uh, this one, this H frame, if we hydrogenate at the on site, possible. But uh, if central refining, also possible. Because uh, if we upgrade at the central refining, hydrogen price is very cheap. Then much uh, easier to, to cost down the cost up. But uh, this case is only refinery can afford this uh, process. We can use uh, several reacting system for upgrade the fame, this uh, slurry type reactor or a fixed bed reactor. This one is commonly used in the refinery. But the uh, very important thing, one thing is uh, here. Uh, fame molecule is a little bit big and the uh, poly one is a bent. And a lot of the diffusion issue uh, occurred in, during hydrogenation. And one example is uh, this uh, supported catalyst. We should put on the noble metals, not uniform, it's, uh, like a uh, eggshell type, like a skin part, because uh, we can minimize the diffusion issue. And uh, some uh, reaction here. Of course, uh, in food processing, nickel catalyst is uh, commonly used, but uh, we need a little bit uh, uh, higher reaction condition, high pressure, high temperature. But uh, we use uh, here in this uh, run, we use uh, palladium catalysis. This uh, partial hydrogenation way can be applied all of the fame uh, made of the any kind of the feedstock. Now uh, we are focusing on Jatarufa uh, fame or around here. Then the uh, important one is uh, this uh, green one. Green one is a uh, deunsaturated one, and uh, this uh, orange one is a tree unsaturated one, a polyunsaturated one here. Then uh, Jatarufa is here. Just uh, we should hydrogenate here. But the soya beans and uh, rapeseed, uh, crude palm. Crude palm itself is uh, very stable compared to <coughs> another feedstock. But uh, if we use uh, this H frame method to palm, just the hydrogenation is very, should be very light, not so deep. Then the hydrogen consumption is very low in this case. Then uh, just I summarize the uh, advantage of the H frame. Uh, no need to use the highest high pressure facility normally less than 0.5 megapascal. And the low temperature hydrogen conditions uh, less than here. And uh, <coughs> uh, it's a potentially uh, uh, less oxidation property because uh, polyunsaturated one is very low in content. And uh <coughs> decreasing the football ester in uh, Jatarofa oil, they contain the four-bore ester, but uh, MTEC check the four-bore ester material balance after <coughs> frame production, washing, and some hydrogenation. And uh, they uh, found the, all the four-bore ester would be gone after hydrogenation. This one is uh, another advantage of hydrogenation for Jetter of a fame. And the uh, set and number is increased. Uh, this one is a very good indication the combustibility is much higher in H fame compared to normal fame. And uh, possible high concentration up to 20 or 30% here. And uh, this, <coughs> but uh, 
one advantage is that we need a hydrogenation facility and we need hydrogen to hydrogenate. But uh, later I mentioned uh, feasibility study mentioned this HFA method is very uh, economical way. This show one example of the H fame. Uh, fame is a rapeseed here, and this one is hydrogenated fame. The oxidation stability is very high, and uh, this one is uh, data after adding BHT here, and this value is quite uh, comparable around here. It means a uh, partial hydrogenation of uh, B100 will be quite equivalent. Uh, effective to increase uh, oxidation stability. In this case is uh, equivalent to about 1% of BHT addition. Very stable. And another uh, example is here. If we can hydrogenate uh, this uh, jetter of fame, oxidation stability is around 11 hours. And uh, when we blend this uh, fame with petroleum one. Oxidation stability is around here. In EU, uh, they are using B7, and uh, this standard, uh, more than 20 uh, recommended, but uh, still here, very high. Then once we can get the uh, hydrogenated fame, and uh, its oxidation stability more than 10, we can blend it around 20. I'm not sure the study, but uh, blend with 20. And I just uh, summarized this uh, H-fame. It's a kind of a bridging technology here. But the point is uh, hydrogen consumption is very low compared to this one. And uh, just uh, basing on our understanding of the oxidation of fame, in Tista, they produce a uh, jet alpha fame, H fame, uh, uh, from, uh, sorry, oh, not. Here is a video plant, upgrading plant, and uh, just uh, here is a new one to compare to conventional way. And the property of the hydrogenated fame is very nice. And uh, it's uh, already meet with uh, area standard and uh, this worldwide fuel charter standard. Point is uh, uh, mineral matter content or ash content is very low in this case. And the setan number is very high. And uh, we check the material compatibility of uh, and the engine performance of H fame. Uh, <coughs> Material compatibility is uh, nearly the same with the conventional fame. And uh, engine performance is nearly the same with conventional fame. Just uh, oxidation stability is increased a lot. And now, uh, <coughs> uh, ISUS group, Thailand group, and PTT join to check the, uh, this uh, automobile compatibility by using on-road test. Uh, later, uh, this is a person who will make some presentation about the ongoing test. We had a nice ceremony last year. This one is the last one. It's, uh, we check the feasibility study of H fame. Uh, usually, uh, Jatrofa, it's a not on the supply chain. It's uh, difficult to estimate how much it cost up, uh, or how much does it cost to in produce H fame? Then uh, we are using the data of palm, uh, this plant size, and this one is uh, just cost of the first generation conventional fame, H fame here. Cost up is very low, and this one is a second generation VHD. Uh, uh, it's a little bit high, but of course, uh, if you use uh, petroleum. Uh, facility, uh, maybe you can cost down here, a lot here. And uh, this Fisher Trops one is very expensive. Okay, and then uh, our H fame is uh, uh, engine performance and the stability performance, it's okay. 
but uh, also a uh, feasibility study mentioned uh, this edge frame it's uh, very economical so uh, I deeply appreciate with uh, our edge frame members in AST and also appreciate JST JICA and uh, for support and uh, MTech this uh, King Mok uh, North Bangkok uh, University in North Bangkok and uh, thank you very much for your kind attention. Kop to Kap. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Ushimura.